Okay, so um, I grew up just outside of Christchurch at the bottom of hills that once stood tall with Totara and Rimu. Um, my creativity drove me to art school and from there I meandered into props making. Um, to be honest, I got a little bit lost. Uh, one day I looked around me and I was surrounded by skyscrapers uh, working for a big commercial television station in Australia. Um, and I, I then stopped and I thought, my time and resources, my time and energy are actually valuable resources and I should from now on be investing them wisely. So um, it was really amazing what happened when I made that decision. I think a lot of people here have um, touched on the same thing. The things just fall into your hands. So um, I was drawn to the Centre for Fine Woodworking um, in Nelson <laughs> and it's probably a bit more like meditation than um, the slapdash construction of props. Um, so I really enjoyed it. And um, there I met a um, visiting guest called Norio Tano, who is a shining man who makes um, patient, um, beautiful works. Um, and I, from him, he, well he reiterated to me the value of patient labor and reverence of materials. So things were beginning to crystallize. And the next night, working hard on a beer at the pub, um, I, um, I overheard somebody talking about a new social enterprise in Christchurch called Rekindle that was taking demolition t uh, timber and turning it into beautiful furniture and diverting it from landfill. Um, so that was actually my cue. Um, and before I knew it, I was running the whole house reuse project for Rekindle. Um, when you start to look at the issue of um, demolition waste, what strikes you is the incomprehensible scale. Um, there's more than 15,000 homes that have to come down in Christchurch, and it's actually a nationwide issue as well. Um, it, the new earthquake safety code is set to increase the level of demolition throughout the country. Um, so Julia Arnott, who is Rekindle's founder, had the idea to, um, well wanted to somehow um, find a path to understand that monumental scale. So she had the idea to look at just one house, um, which is this house here. Um, so, and from that house to showcase the value, the quantity and the legacy of the materials that it contains. Um, as well as the house, um, and the materials, and that's sort of the environmental story. But we also wanted to give a voice to the social side of the story, um, to um, talk about the loss of um, social history um, and allow for reflection on that. Um, this is our beautiful family. We just got in touch with them um, through the neighbour, knocked on the door. He was still there. They're on the edge of the red zone. Um, so anyway, we had the house. It was um, uh, in New Brighton, um, and uh, we needed to make this idealistic vision of salvaging the whole thing a reality. And um, the work of salvages is truly what holds the whole notion together, the craft of their deconstruction. It's a um, very, uh, very honourable industry. Um, so we needed to raise funds because it's important for us to ensure the viability of their industry as well. Um, so we raised funds from uh, Sustainable Initiatives Fund and Jamin and Creative Communities. And so we were set to start the real work. <laughs> um, and I have to say it was real work. It was very hard. Over the seven days that I worked alongside them, um, I began to understand more and more um, the, the, their slow but reliable attendance every morning. It's hard dirty and often toxic work and it requires the patience of saints. Um, on the third day, the sky fell. <laughs> um, we were actually wading in um, plaster, lath and insole fluff, of which I had a different name for at the time. <laughs> um, and uh, all I could say on the phone to Juliet that night was, um, it was real. Um, but I could also smile because in that act of um, attention and hard work was the embodiment of what we had set out to achieve. Um, 
the recognition of the weight of each piece passing through our hands um, was the antithesis of, of a digger erasing a house in an afternoon. Um, so uh, I guess the question was where to stop, and I think a salvager probably comes across that question every day, um, and, and it's a lot of responsibility. I drew the line when the little sticks got to about four millimetres thick, um, <laughs> and then the digger came and took away the um, ring foundation, and that's what's left of 19 Admirals Way now. Um, so it's a bit sad, really. Um, but this house has a, has a happy ending. Um, so um, the act of cataloguing was painstaking, painstaking but extremely gratifying. Um, <laughs> that's 479 um, items. And a lot of people here have talked about the power of um, design at, as a, uh, a way to make change. Um, so problem solving. And um, from here, we want to um, engage the creative um, community of New Zealand to turn all of these objects into new items. Um, so we'll be putting out the catalogue along with um, a design brief um, over the next month or so. And um, we hope we the materials will go out and then come back in again um, as beautiful, innovative, creative works that we hope will create value and therefore make um, reuse more um, viable. Um, so um, essentially, everything about, ha um, about reuse is hard work, but that does not mean that it is not worthwhile. 